Welcome everyone to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Bill Spicer. On today's show, we're in Ontario's beautiful North Country on the Nipigon River. Joining me today is trout enthusiast, Randy Beamish, and he's gonna show us how to take some brook trout. Now when I say brook trout, I mean big brook trout. We'll discuss equipment, flies, and technique. It's gonna be a great show, so stay with us. We'll be right back. On today's show, the new fly fisher crew is in Ontario's beautiful north country in the town of Red Rock. Red Rock is located 100 kilometers east of Thunder Bay in northwestern Ontario at the mouth of the Nipigon River. Named for the large red cliffs between Red Rock and Nipigon, Red Rock offers breathtaking scenery which includes rugged cliffs, forests and sparkling rivers, along with some of the best brook trout fishing in North America. Joining me today is trout enthusiast Randy Beamish. Randy has fished these waters for many years and with his tutorage, I'm sure this will be a successful trip. Well, let's let's get out there. I'm excited okay. to get, get going on this. Let's get in the boat there. The best time in my opinion is the first full week of June through to probably the second full week of July, that six week period, um, that's when I book my vacation and I tend to target them and I've traditionally caught my biggest fish in that time frame. Now what I'm doing is I'm casting at a 90 degree angle from the boat and then letting the current bow the line like that you can see that real well and just swing in the fly in the current and Randy's controlling the boat so we're going back and forth in the current oh, fish on first cast in this area that Randy just brought us we got a a, a seam here from slow water to fast and a first drift come by all I did was nothing and brought it around and this fish just wham there's no doubt about when you get the hit so I got to put the boots to this fish and try to get them yeah. away from over there because we must fight it behind us yeah we got we got some serious white water behind us yeah here. we got to be careful we're gonna go straight ahead with this fish okay Unless it really, really forces us out yeah. of here. He's, he's a good strong one. Man, oh man, they got such power. You must come up to Nipigon River and try this. The, oh, oh, big, big head shake, big head shake. They're huge brook trout. Anybody that's into brook trout is gonna love this. Look at the rod going, look at the rod going, huh? We yeah! Got, we got good water conditions for landing. We got really good water conditions right now. They allowed the, the, the water level to drop. As you can see behind me, there's a dam, and the water level is, is controlled by it. Earlier, we had really high conditions, and they've, they've since then dropped it down. And this is another big fish. And we got him. Very good. It's not a, I guess the current was making me feel that it was a much larger fish. Okay. Just, he, he's gonna get us by here. <laughs> well, it's a decent fish, what's well, about, yeah. 18 inches? Oh yeah, 18 inches. Beautiful fish. And away it goes. I love that. What I've been doing, which is working very well, you feel the hit and you move the, the rod upstream, like this. And that is your hook set. Now there's another hook set that they got, and if you watch my hands, it is this. I got my line here, 
you pull back and move up. Again, I'll, I'll show you. When the fish hits, you pull back and move up. That's called a, a line a lot stripping set. Line strip set. Yes. Pull back and move your rod upstream. And that'll set the hook tight. If you lift straight up, you pull it out of its mouth. So you want the, the fish has grabbed your, your fly, turned and started moving downstream. That's why the sweeping action puts it back in its mouth. If you lift up, you're gonna pull it out of its mouth. Very important, your hook set. There's one. There we go. Fish on. Good man, good man. And we've taken it in a pretty good spot here, haven't we? Where we got some room to fight it. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got lots and of. It looks uh, like a pretty good fish. Yeah, it is. It's uh got some weight to it. Good man. How did it feel when they hit, Randy? What, very la very lazy. Hit it, come up, and and almost like it grabbed the uh, tail of the fly. And then it was a, a slack, it, like it come forward on it and then hit it hard. Probably swallowed it and turned. Just ambushed the bait. Beautiful. Now this one hasn't come up yet, so that indicates to me that it's a big fish. Yeah, it's a, usually indicates a good sized fish. The, the smaller ones tend to fight hard and run, but they yeah. come up on the surface. Beautiful. And we have that nice, very nice fish. Just yep. the current yep. makes it uh, seem a lot bigger. The nice thing about the well is the, is the fish is now going to settle down. We can handle them without hurting them. And uh, it's just an all round great idea. I like it a lot. And my buddy John's fly, but it's got kind of battered up there, hasn't it? Yeah, I guess. We're gonna have to comb it out. Yeah. <laughs> These are not stocked fish. Every one of the fish that we got today are wild. That's the nice thing about it. So it's very important that we protect this industry. Wonderful. Quick measurement and back it'll go in this. I'm sorry, I'm done something with my glove and I don't know what I've done. That's a 20 inch fish, 20, 20 inch and a quarter. Okay. Now, go along with it. Beautiful. Oh, I like it. There it goes. Excellent. There's a trough drops off. It's kind of like a hump, just about the natural lay of that, that hill in front of us at point and then it'll uh, deepen over there deepen here and then it fades out back into that shoreline so well this is a decent fish actually yeah uh, now I'm, I'm I'm having a little bit of trouble now seeing him yeah. and he's gonna run so I'll get him on this side of the boat now yeah. Yeah, okay. I just want to kind of get out of this boily current I agree try to land them and I'm going to swing around and circle them just to get them get them above the boat again okay the biggest thing is, is when they get below the boat the fly will tear out okay uh, you see fish in here that hardware anglers catch and they, they force them and rip their mouths there we're good now so this guy's just coming up now one he's gone back down to the bottom again <laughs> <laughs> That is a beautiful fish. Well, oh, this this is actually quite a nice fish. Yeah. Now, a, would that be above average or average? Uh, that's a little above average. He's tagged. He's been tagged by somebody. Which is good. This yeah. is a, this goes down to the tag. Now, here, I'll, I'll help you out there. No, I'll hold this. Okay. There we go. Now, we got him in there. That, that so. fish being 21 and a half, I weighed it the other day when I sampled it, and it's a rough 5.6 pounds. Now, that, that to me, 
is a record for myself. Biggest brook trout I've ever caught is four and three quarter pounds. So I'm really excited about this. Yeah. This is just a wonderful area. Oh man, I love so this brook is trout fishing. Just a point to make too, this is the third time this fish has been handled by anglers. So um, it, it's not, uh, catch and release definitely works. You know, it was initially tagged by a, another angler. I captured it, I believe, last week on the uh, 12th, and uh, I have data written down on it, and then Bill captured it again today, so. This this is just absolutely the best. As far as I'm concerned, this is a must. Uh, a fish taken from here is a fish gone forever, so that's one thing you gotta remember. Um, there are other areas here where you can go and have a meal if you would like. Uh, if you wanna take a fish, it must be over 22 inches, and it can only be one fish. So the, I think the, the rules are really paying off, and uh, I'm all for them. Okay. Okay. We're gonna be very gentle with him. He's, he's in good shape. The water's very cool. He there, he's, I can feel him on my, my hand here. He's, he's gonna take off, so. Lovely specimen, male brook trout. Beautiful. A select number of anglers have been trained and equipped with tagging guns to implant a small, numbered tag behind the dorsal fin in any brook trout that they catch and can safely return. Upon release, the number is recorded, fish measured for length and girth, with weight if possible without stressing the fish. A punch sample is taken from the dorsal fin. This eventually will grow back. Also, a scale sample is taken and put into an envelope. This is used to determine the age of the fish. Additional information such as location, date, and fish health is also recorded. Here at the lodge, we overlook Lake Superior. And in addition to looking over Lake Superior, we're also within walking distance of a trail that goes from, a walking trail that goes from Red Rock over to Nipigon. It's about a four hour uh, hike with excellent, excellent vistas. I'll challenge anybody anywhere, anytime to, to outmatch these. Um, it makes for a fantastic break uh, from your fishing trip, or if you just wanted to uh, take a hike in the evening, um, feed the birds and, and um, sit back and relax. Now today there was a need for eight weight rods and I thought that might be a little bit heavy but I was sure surprised because of the size of the fish we definitely needed them. Another need that I had was, was that of a large arbor reel. Reason being I had two fish run directly at me and I had to I had to wind in as fast as I could and a large arbor allows you a faster line retrieve than you would with the old spindle type so a large arbor reel is definitely what you need now today we had to go with sinking tip lines to get the, the fly down quickly the current is very fast out there so you must get it down as fast as you can and I was using a type 3 type of uh, sinking tip which means it sinks between 6 to 8 inches per second now the line that I have on here is called a quad line and it has four different uh, tips that you can attach onto it. So it's very convenient and, and, and in the packet that it's got the four tips you get all these different uh, lines to choose from and you can face any fishing conditions that you want. So the one that I wanted was a type 3 sinking tip. For targeting the trophy brook trout I recommend a minimum 8 weight. Whatever you're uh, comfortable with steelhead fishing is probably the perfect match for the brook trout rod and reel size. Lines tend to differ a little bit, but uh, I would, uh, for the beginner, a minimum eight weight just to handle these. For the uh, experienced fly fisherman that wants a real good um, fight experience, a seven weight can be used, but below that you're just, uh, you're gonna be wrestling with these fish and, and probably not winning. Yeah. Randy called it. He says, we're going to take a fish at this corner. And what we're, what we're shooting at is these points where the current breaks across them. Yeah, they're little feed food channels. You know? Yeah, little food channels. I can just see them. Bammo. Now. 
Ready? Okay, that's okay. That's okay. I still got it. I don't like chasing them. With we didn't. We didn't. We didn't touch him. He's going to be coming up in a second here. I'm going to miss. And we got him. And this is a good fish again. Oh, that's a that's a hog. <laughs> that's a hog. This is dynamite. That's a big fish. And back in, and I like what you're doing there, Randy, with the net. You just put it, he's yep. putting it right into the live well without touching it. So we're going to try to handle this as little as possible. That's a, that's a very nice fish. That's a, now, what would you say it is, Randy? Oh, uh, on a six pound. An on a six pound. On a, probably. Well, it could be, something, huh? could, could be bigger. <laughs> it's a, a these, these, this is just such an incredible fishery, folks. You really got to come up here to to the Nipigon area and fish the Nipigon River itself. I, I this isn't just a good fishery; it's a fantastic fishery. You knew uh, off that point we were going to take one, didn't you? Yeah. We better keep uh, tabs on where we're where we're going. We're starting to yeah. speed up pretty good here. Twenty-two and a quarter inches. <laughs> that's a that's a nice fish. We're going to go over into the calmer yeah, water calmer. here. Yep. We can tag it. What a beauty, Bill. Man, it's just starting to rain, too. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> that is just incredible. I love brook trout, and this is the best brook trout fishing I've ever had. Oh, one, you know, one more look at it. That's an exception. That's a female. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little shorter, blunter head. And, you know. Very, very pretty fish. A little dark, still colored up from the fall, probably. And uh, probably a little older fish, so. And away she goes. Nipigon River Adventures has two bases of operations. One here at uh, Quebec Lodge, which is a 4,000 square foot log building. And we also have um, cabins on the Nipigon River itself, which is about a, a half hour drive from, from the lodge here. Uh, at the lodge, we have a huge living room, dining room. Um, we can accommodate about 10 people. Um, it's very rustic in the fact that the furniture and the setting is rustic, um, but very, very comfortable. Um, we have internet access as well as uh, satellite TV and just a nice place. If you closed your eyes and thought, where do I end, want to end up at the end of a day's fishing, sitting in front of a fireplace and overlooking Lake Superior, this is the place to come to. I'd like to talk a little bit about the flies we're using today that uh, were probably the most effective of all. They're uh, a, a smelt pattern. Uh, Randy says that uh, the main feed that we have here are smelts. And we have a, a one of Randy's, uh, it's called a Beamer Streamer. And it's a, a kind of like a bunny leech with a little bit of chartreuse in it. And, and it worked effectively. My first fish, that a big fish that I lost um, was on this one. It's, it's a fairly heavy fly. It gets down really nice. Now the second pattern, I, I decided to try it. A friend of mine, John Ponsford, designed this fly and, and asked me to try it and, and it worked quite, quite well. It's made with angel hair and it has a much slimmer profile and I think the fish today were a little off. They didn't want a, a big presentation like that. They wanted something a little more subtle, uh, slimmer, and it actually moves a little, lot more. So this was the hot fly today, and it's just a, a smelt pattern, um, and the same colors as, as a smelt, about the same size. So that's basically what we're using today. And remember, streamers take the majority of big fish. Fish on, right there. We got it. Yes, sir. Right at that point, same spot as last time, Randy. Same spot. Man, did this one ever hit hard? It was kaboom. You could feel it go <laughs> right on the, on the fly. <laughs> oh, man. This is just incredible. You have to come up and fish the Nipigon River. It's just unbelievable. You, you hear stories about it. The, the world record brook trout was caught here, and you can see why. A brook trout, when they reach a certain a certain uh, size switch from invertebrates to actual minnow type patterns or they'll even cannibalize themselves. He is for not being a very big fish he's using the current to his best advantage isn't he? Yeah. 
Yeah, here he comes. That's a nice, nice fish. Excellent. Excellent. Well, actually, it's not as, you know, it's a little fatty, isn't he? Dynamite. <laughs> this is so exciting. Make a measurement here. Measurement. Actually, no, it's a 19 inch fish. A little fatty, isn't it? Yeah, a little fatty, and we're gonna let them grow a nice color to it. Oh, lovely color. Look at the spots on it. Yeah. Just look at the spots. We've run out of time for today, but be sure to tune in next week for the conclusion of Rookies on the Nipigon River. For more information on this show and others in our series, visit us on the net at thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at the New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us. Tight lines, and we'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Mark Melnick from the New Fly Fisher Television Show. If you enjoyed that video, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe today. Also, we're uploading new videos all the time, so hit the bell to be notified when the next one goes up.